Hi everybody, um, thanks for tuning in. I'm calling this the Coors Lutze Coffee Sessions. Um, it's going to be... Damn it. Hi everyone, and welcome to the Coors Lutze Coffee Sessions. Um, this is going to be just us talking about... Coffee time. Hi. Uh, welcome to Coors Lutze Coffee Hour, or... This isn't going to be an hour. Welcome to Kurflota Coffee Time. Um, <clears throat> I'm your host, Kurflota, or I go by Shia. It's Gomeshad. It's a lot easier to pronounce. Um, I am a flutist living and working in New York City. I live in Brooklyn, and I love it here. It's amazing. bed -Stuy. Um There's tons of venues here. There's tons of stuff happening, especially if you do new music. I mean, even if you do classical music. Lots and lots of stuff. Um, if you have any questions about living in New York City, what it's like, um, how to continue to be a flute player even though rent is so damn high, <laughs> uh, leave them in the comments below and I'll um, address them in the next episode. I work lots of different jobs, wear lots of different hats, um, and I get to perform and it's great. So, yeah. Pros of living in New York. The pros are definitely that there's tons of venues, tons of stuff going on, and it's great. Go to your friends' concerts. Go to your friends' concerts. Um, cons. It's expensive, and it's exhausting, and sometimes if you go to your friend's show that's somewhere in, uh, you know, Ridgewood, and it's at 11 o'clock at night on a Sunday, the trains aren't running, so you have to figure out how to get your ass back to your neighborhood. And you don't get home till 2 in the morning. Love, hate, love, hate, love, hate New York. <laughs> I, part of this uh, coffee talk is I'm going to be reviewing a product. Um, so I have here my Lefrec. Okay, so these are a little bit controversial if you have not been part of the whole talk on the flute forums about these little guys. Um, some people get really angry <laughs> when talking about these things. Um, some people think it's a gimmick, some people think that, you know, it's just a waste of money. But, um, I have to say, I don't know yet, if you guys probably don't know me personally, but people who do know me personally know that I, I do tend to get excited about new gadgets, but at the same time, I'm very, very, um, critical about things, and I don't have a lot of money to be throwing around, um, if it wasn't worth it. So I got this little guy when I was studying in Paris, um, pretty much every flutist I came in contact with there has one, uses one, swears by them. I mean, some people, you know, use like 10 and put them on all the places of the flute that you could possibly imagine. Uh, and I, 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 maybe that works for them. I think it's a little bit excessive, but just one, just this little guy. Let me pull it out for you. So I got this little, the little guy. Um, it has these two little plates right here. Um, that one of them has little nubby bits on the bottom. You can see that little nubby bits. Um, and it goes on top of the one with the flat back. Then they fit in together, they have a little groove. Yeah. A little groove like that. So, nubby bit, smooth bit, and you want to line up the Lefrec logo. It's so shiny. You can kind of see it. Like, boom. With their power combined. Take these little guys, pop them on this joint right here between the head joint and the body, and it comes with this handy dandy little hair tie. It's not a hair tie. <laughs> you pop it on like so. Um, so the science behind it is science. Um, they talk about um, how when the flute has a joint and it. Um, it affects the resonance or the mm, some math, something, something. Um, but basically it, it um, doesn't allow your flute to resonate as well as it could if it was just one long tube. So it's supposed to connect these the, the, the joints, I guess, is the most the easiest way that I can explain it. Um, and I would say that, um, so I, I tried it first. I borrowed one for about a month and uh, noticed immediately a change in my sound. Even if it's, 
even if it's not a change that is noticeable to an audience, it's a change that was noticeable to me as the player. And that, I think, is even more important than what is being put out. And that's just, if you think about it, like, what if something makes you more confident, if something makes you feel more comfortable um, on your instrument, makes you feel like you're more resonant and your sound is just more vibrant, that makes you more comfortable and confident, more vibrant player um, when you're on stage and when you're in front of an audience. Um, so even if it, if it does have a little bit of a placebo effect, so what? <laughs> I For me, it was worth it. Um, anyways, but I, I, I have had friends of mine take it and try it on their flute, and I listened to their tone beforehand and their tone afterwards, and there was a noticeable difference in what I was hearing. Um, I, again, like I said, even if it's as a trained flutist, I know the difference between a, the first tone A and tone B, <laughs> uh, and maybe the shlomo in the crowd won't, it still makes a difference to the flutist, and that is important. So, my review, A+. Plus. I love this guy. Um, it was uh, 200 euros, um, which like I said, it, I don't have a lot of money to be thrown around for just random gadgetry, and um, I would say that this was worth it, and I would buy it again in a heartbeat. Uh, so for all you Lefrec haters out there, or the freak, whatever, I said Lefrec, you said the freak, don't hate, this is amazing. And that, my friends, was the Queer Flota Coffee Time. Thank you for watching, please subscribe if you enjoyed. Um, if you didn't, eh, you can't please them all, but thank you for watching.